It's Wednesday, October 2nd, 2013. I'm Sam Sheffer, and I love to rhyme. In fact, I do it all the way to work. I got nothing. This is 90 Seconds on the Verge. Every road has an end, and Silk Road may finally be there. The FBI has seized the underground drug trafficking site. The so-called online black market has been pulled and replaced with an FBI notice. Ross Ulbricht, the 29-year-old alleged mastermind behind Silk Road, is being charged with narcotics trafficking conspiracy, computer hacking conspiracy, and money laundering conspiracy. To give you an idea of just how big Silk Road was, between February of 2011 and July of 2013, Silk Road did $1.2 billion worth of business. Rumors of an Apple TV have been bouncing around for years, but this time, things are getting a bit more serious. Apple has hired a former senior VP from Cable Labs, who is rumored to be joining Apple's TV division. It's unclear whether he'll be working on the long-rumored television set or refining the set-top box Apple currently makes. But then again, what's really the point of television without Breaking Bad? And finally, the spy world has lost one of its best. Tom Clancy has died at the age of 66. Clancy's action novels have provided the bases for films like The Hunt for Red October and the best-selling video game series Rainbow Six. Tom Clancy once wrote, The point of life was to press on, to do the best you can, to make the world a better place. And Mr. Clancy most certainly did so. And that's it for today's top stories. Coming up tomorrow, we test out the new Bop It Extra Extreme, where the game is made of live snakes.